Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. I'd like to go over a few things that uh, not only that you can uh, assess your horse, but also maybe uh, if you're purchasing a horse, looking for a horse that you can look for. And these are the kind of things that I like to look for. Uh, the number one thing that I like, if you notice how this mare stands, she stands pretty relaxed level, okay, uh, from here to here. Uh, what that means is her neck growing out of her shoulder is basically low, okay. Uh, some of your Arabs uh, and saddlebreds, the neck's coming out of their shoulders higher. So it's going to cause a higher headset. Um, so if you was doing ranch or raining, um, or a sock horse, uh, you, it's not that it's bad to have them come out, but it's, it's just a, a nice look. Uh, makes for a nice balanced horse. Um, she's, another thing I look for is a clean throat latch. All right, she's about, some horse's neck come in at about here, thick. Uh, I went to a horse show and I brought home a two-year-old Mustang and I kind of liked her overall confirmation, but she's a little thicker here. Uh, on this mare, I'd, if I had my wish list, I'd probably have it come in about here, so it's thinner. What that does, it makes her give her chin easier, all right? Makes her chin flex easier. That's what that means, okay? Um, the other thing, she, she has nice ears. The ears match the confirmation and the size of a horse. They're not too big, they're not too small. Got a nice size jaw. If you, if you look here, she has nice nostrils. That's good for breathing. Sometimes the nostrils are too small. She has a medium mouth, okay? That's good, all right. Overall body, if you look at the back, you know, from say in the middle of the withers to the top of the hip, She's uh, about 80% uh, perfect in the back. Uh, in other words, she's about 20% too long. Uh, I don't want a, a back that's real short coupled. You can hardly get a saddle on, and there's some quarter horses out like that. Uh, but if the back is a little bit shorter, it makes it easier for her to stop and get under herself. Um, the cannon bones, what I do like about her, she has medium to uh, small cannon bones. In other words, from the, the knee and from the hock uh, is about medium or average. And if you look at her, also if you look at the front and the rear, she has nice muscle tone. Overall, she has nice muscle tone. If you look over here, definition right in here, in here, in here, right, right in here, nice muscle tone, which means uh, she's uh, been ridden fairly balanced. In other words, a lot of horses carry themselves on the front end and they'll have nice big shoulders, beefy shoulders, but the hips don't match the shoulders, okay? She has a relatively deep heart girt, okay? All right. Uh, what I like about that is uh, uh, a little bit, she'll have a little bit more larger lung capacity for breathing. That's what I like about her. Her feet are uh, average in diameter, and you want the biggest feet that you can find on a horse. I mean, the bigger the feet, the more sound and uh, uh, trauma it can take hitting the ground. Okay, so that's very important. There's a lot of nice horses out there built, but got too small of feet. So big feet. We like big old dinner plates. That's good. Uh, sound straightness wise. If we turn around and we look at the front, she's pretty straight going down. Okay? So in other words, she's, she's not really, she's not turned out like this. She's standing pretty straight. Okay? And the same with the back. If we just go ahead and turn her around to the camera. It's 
square up just a little bit. There you go, sis. Yeah. Good. She's pretty straight. If you take a look at it, it's pretty darn straight. The, the right side's a little bit turned. Uh, slight. Um, it's not going to be a soundness issue. You know, here again, if you had the perfect horse, we probably wouldn't be able to afford it. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.